the Australian law does not say that the Aboriginal people can permanently stop the mining company, mining at Ranger. Regardless if you don't sign the agreement. Mm. They're going to still mine anyway. The minister himself can sign that agreement on the behalf of the Northern Land Council. Well, you can't win it. What sort of a condition it is you put up? Well, if mining would have gone ahead in the disagreement, the Aboriginal people wouldn't have any control. They would have lost their land. They would have lost it to the mining. And nothing that they can do about it once the mining is going. Because they've done this, it go in the past, and today the, a lot of Aboriginal people have lost their land. If the Northern Land Council wants to sign <coughs> the agreement, the Australian law says that before it can be signed, the Northern Land Council must be sure that the traditional owners of Ranger area understand what is in the agreement and say yes to that agreement. So they asked me, what do you want to do? I said, well, Toby, you had Toby Gangele. He was speaking this morning clear and well. He said, now, Ranger mine is close. We don't want Ranger. We don't want Grimman signed. Uh, I'm Toby. That's my country up there. I reckon uh, step by side, we can leave this in Wobbana. We don't know we don't have to sign agreement now. We are not gonna mine it now. Government can push, but we still say no. The Northern Land Council also has to know that the communities which will be affected by the mining at Ranger have had a fair chance to say what they want to say to the Northern Land Council. This does not mean that the members of the Northern Land Council have to do what the community say. And we don't want to get rid of our country. We, we could be destroyed like people down southern states. It's too soon for the people. They haven't decided. They haven't decided yet. They were just pushing people, pushing the people to sign the agreement. And I'm warning you, whoever the government's going to be, today or tomorrow, we are still their objects to be pushed around. So that when you make the decision, having in mind that we are entitled to be pushed around by any government that will have a power. We are being pushed around today and we will be pushed around tomorrow. And we will be pushed around forever. And that is the fact of life. So the shaman is from the Palatura. I think the main problem with him is my point of view, that is my own opinion, that I think it's because he lost his country, I think he, he just don't care about protecting any Aboriginal people's interests. Uh, that goes for the Ranger thing. He's just pushing people to try and sign up the agreement to agree to that because he lost his country. I would like to assure you about my own leadership work that I've tried to do that but being misunderstood, misinterpreted for the kind of leadership that I carry out depends on different circumstances. We explain to him what to tell him, and we have to leave the range agreement. We have to tell him to look the national park first. Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, lawyers have interpreted your wishes as follows, and I'll read out slightly to you each sentence. One, the Owen Pelly meeting 
does not accept the proposed Ranger Agreement at this time. The Chairman is to advise the Government of this decision and to report back to the Owenpilly people what the Government's attitude is and the Owenpilly people will then consider the matter further and give the NLC further instructions. Good. All those people said, not yet, and they've been just wait that lawyer. That lawyer been one the all the boys been speaking, Silas and that missionary boy from Bali, Irkala. <laughs> 